quick and dirty. Double target. <laughs> I'm Tony, he's Mike, and we're here to do a quick and super dirty review <laughs> of a phenomenal film set in the Ransom Cinematic Universe. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. It is 1987's Double Target, a film that... Mm, mm. <laughs> So anyway, Miles O'Keefe stars, you know, Ator. The birth of a new legend, a new hero, and a true heroine, Ator. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, smell stuff. that Miles O'Keefe goodness. Get it, Tarzan. <laughs> he play Tarzan? In the Bo Derek Tarzan movie? Oh, he did? Yeah. I don't know there was a That was his big movie. break. That was his big break right there. And then the I know movie. there was there's a uh, Grace Stoke with uh, Christopher Christopher Lambert. Lambert. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The uh, before that they did they did a Tarzan movie and it had Bo Derek and uh, Richard Harris okay. and Miles O'Keefe in it and it was a very adulty movie. Like 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 Bo Derek's like butt ass naked through most of the film because okay. you know when you're running through the jungle apparently you get wet and your clothing just can't stay on you. And anyway, um, uh, as it should. Um, uh, so all that's going on, and like it, it's it was a Dino De Laurentiis film. So okay. yeah, so basically Miles O'Keefe was discovered and kept by the Italians throughout his entire career. But he started off there, and then it all kind of went downhill after that. And and so he went from that to doing A Tour, and he did three of the A Tour films. And I thought he was in the original Death Stalker, but it was actually an Ator film, which you know was kind of upsetting mm -hmm. when I discovered that. But then, then he wound up becoming Mike Ransom Part Two, um, and and he's apparently still still doing gigs. He looks like Richard Marks now, <laughs> which is kind of weirding me out. That's weird. But it was like a big super mullet. Oh, he's, it's like it's slicked back on the sides, and then he's all poofy and shit on the okay. top. Like look like he like strapped a poodle to his head, but, <laughs> but then he can still get that shit into a ponytail. I don't think it's his anymore. I think that shit is rented. I think, <laughs> I think oh, he no. had some sod put on the field. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, a little fertilizer, a little Hans Wyman action, and he was, he was good to go. Oh, keeps. <laughs> he's got some keeps going on. Because, because, mm. and then I say this is actually set in the Bruno Matthijs cinematic ransom verse because the Colonel, Colonel, I can't remember his name. It's like Colonel Price or something like that. It's actually Cur Colonel Galkin. Galkin, wait. Yeah. His, his name changed because in his name tag it says Price. <laughs> that's my heart good, Bob. Excuse me, Colonel Waters. That, that's, that's how he's credited in, in this shit. I mean, Bruno Mattai or Mattei, whatever. He, he brought you such fine films as Hell of the Dead, Women's Prison Massacre, uh, Shocking Dark, their, his Terminator 2 sequel, and then, of course, Strike Commando 1 and 2. So, yes, yes. Uh, Miles O'Keefe. Well, actually, in this one, he's Bob Ross, so... This, this was before he turned to painting to, to calm his PTSD that he had going on this fucking movie. Uh, Donald Pleasance as Senator Blaster, bang, bang. And then Bo Sevenson as Colonel Yusei Price, as credited as Galkin. And the blonde who was not credited. I couldn't find, I don't have no idea what the blonde is in this movie. I don't know what her name is. I don't know what the star's name is. I, I know nothing. Her. Her. She, she, I, I actually, the, ver <laughs> the version that I watched when it got to the end and it faded to black, uh -huh. there were no credits. It was just a black screen. <laughs> and, and Jordan's like, what the hell? And I'm like, I think everybody wanted their name taken off of this. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so just so you know, we watched this both on YouTube for free. So it's like a, a, a pirate, or I would say pirate copy, but however, it's on, on YouTube. So if you want to watch this on YouTube, no, oh, please. Don't. Please. No, do. Don't. Yes. No. I, I, say, no. I'm going to say this. Right. This, this, is, this is his typical Vietnam movie shtick. It is, it is uh, Michael, Miles O'Keefe. Uh, he was married to, a, or I don't know, married, but the Vietnamese government doesn't recognize it, but he has a son and his mm. wife died. However, if you want to remarry in accordance with our laws. My wife died in a concentration camp. 
re-education camp, Mr. Ross. And he's going to go in and he's going to rescue his son. Nothing's going to stop me from getting my son back. But he gets tied up with Donald Pleasance and all of this, you know, political bullshit. So uh, he's decided that, yes, you can go in and get your son, but you've also got to do this secret mission for us. And it's just What absolutely... is the secret mission? I have no idea. I, I don't is. know. So you tell me then what I'm supposed to be doing here, Senator. A mission for the State Department. I, 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 I honestly, like, <laughs> like, it's not just me. No, no, it was not just it. I, we were trying to figure that out, and we're, like, watching this, and we're, like, going, did they ever say what his objectives were? Wait a minute. Colonel, would you mind telling me what the hell is going on here? How does he know when he's done? Oh, so. here, here's, here's what I know. At the very beginning, there's some, some terrorist action that's going on. They go into some um, hospital and then blow some stuff up. <laughs> They go somewhere else and blow some stuff up. Watch out! It's a car bomb! There's like a third place they go and they, they blow, blow up a stuff. bar. Mister! Mister! You forgot something! ABS. Um, and, and then uh, there's Miles O'Keefe and he's talking to some bad camera who the heck it was. And then 10 minutes later, I fall asleep. <laughs> I wake up somewhere halfway through the movie <laughs> with Miles O'Keefe just like blowing fucking shit up left and right. He's like an endless supply of bullets. He has an endless supply of grenades. He has an endless supply of rockets for his rocket launcher. And he's like just, like, just blowing fucking shit up left and fucking right. How? He has an infinite ammo cheat code. This well, yeah. yeah. How did you fall asleep on this? I, I was How did like, you not fall asleep I was, on I, this? I, I was, almost fell asleep again. I was so bored by watching shit blow up. <laughs> I was so entertained by this. I was laughing so hard. My sides hurt. I, I'm not. I'm not exaggerating there. It just. Do you understand? You missed the scene where he he they they take him. I on didn't his, miss a damn thing. Oh, you did. You did. No. And let me let me just set this up for you. So they send him on his secret mission, and I I don't know. Apparently they needed a submarine to get him to Vietnam, even though apparently he was already in Vietnam because he was talking to one of their uh, uh, the Philippines. They're in the Philippines in the beginning. Are you sure? Because he was yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, a yeah, Vietnamese. Yeah, cause, cause he was, I, he was talking I, to a Vietnamese politician about what happened to his wife. They're in v Vietnam or Hong Kong, some shit. Because I could have <laughs> swore it was down at the bottom. Was it, I think it was Hong Kong, actually. Uh, it, was at, it was at the very beginning. We'll, we'll put it here. here. Right, so, <laughs> wherever the hell he was at. <laughs> but either way, he was, he was in the South Pacific. Okay, fair enough. So anyway, so they, <laughs> they, they take him on some way to get to. And that's like the worst way to get anywhere anyway, because it's fucking the slowest method to get where you need to go to. But then why could you take a fucking plane? Because they had to shoot Miles O'Keefe out of a torpedo tube. Launch. In his scuba gear, which was so awesome. that's the part I fell asleep. And, and on. then and then <laughs> see that see that what you missed out on was Miles O'Keefe arrives in the Vietnamese river mm. and the Vietnamese immediately are like he's he's right there. Just shine a light on him. He's he's right there. And then Somehow they found a rare species of red, white, and blue shark to help them knock the Vietnamese people out of the boat and eat them. <laughs> and then, and then, that's not the end of Patriot Shark's rare abilities. Miles <laughs> O'Keefe is trying to get into the river, and apparently they have security nets across the front of the river, but it's okay. Miles O'Keefe calls the sharks, and they eat a hole through it. And then Miles O'Keefe shows his gratitude by blowing up the fucking shark. <laughs> so, so I, I hate to say it, you missed out on a gent. And then, all right, I'll have to go back and, and watch then it. He, well, I cut this shitty half then, because I was like, all right, I'll finish the movie, and it's halfway interesting. I'll go back and, and watch the rest. And all I saw was him just, just blowing up Asian people left and right. Oh, you missed it. He goes to, okay, so they immediately take him to the village where his son is. And then, yeah. like, uh, uh, he gets together with a group of, of a Belgian and a bunch of people that I, I don't know who the hell they are, but they've got guns and jeans. They're, they're not in camo <laughs> or anything. They're just walking through the woods. And everybody in the village, like, all their clothing has got, like, holes and tears and shit. Like, no one, no one like, is wearing a decent shirt or anything. But he meets his son... And, and I love this because there's a continuity error that had me laughing so hard. He gives his son a photo of him and his mother. And the kid takes the photo and tears it in half. If you pay attention to what side of the photo Miles O'Keefe is on, <laughs> the kid throws away the part with his mother on it. 
and then puts the sign with Miles O'Keefe in his shirt. And then later on, they show him he's staring at the hat that he kept, and it's the mother. And it's like, okay, that's a pretty big screw up right there. But I was laughing so hard at that one. And then the Russians come in and take over the village, and they're trying to find out where Miles O'Keefe is and what his mission is and all this. And naturally, this is something that you would tell your kid because they're questioning, like trying to figure out which one is his kids. Mm -hmm. And Miles O'Keefe comes to the village and he just blows the crap out of it. He has liberated it the American way by fucking leveling it and burning it to the ground. And and I'm I'm rolling at this point. I, I'm laughing so hard. I have tears streaming down my face. And then the Russians have helicopters, but apparently the only way that the Russians can actually drop a bomb from their helicopter is to open the back door of the helicopter and throw the bomb out. Um, they have rocket launchers. They have shitty aim. Later. Oh my god, they have shitty aim, but they have rocket launchers. They can't hit Miles O'Keefe, who's like 50 feet away from them on the ground. The other thing is, like, Miles O'Keefe, like, blows up, like, two full villages and an entire military base. Yes. He, yes. he, like, he doesn't go in with, like, um, I'm gonna get my objective. He just, like, I'm no. fucking leveling everything. And, like, you know what? This, this would look good as a plane. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he has one policy scorched earth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, scorch earth and rock in a beret yeah. you you missed the scene where him and his belgian buddy are in the warehouse and the whole russian army is outside a whole battalion just blew in well, let's go out and say hello i see that we meet again and they find a motorcycle and a bunch of smoke grenades and they pop the door open and throw smoke grenades out and drive right through the middle of the hole it was ridiculous there was, there's <laughs> like there's no way to take this seriously and i i am almost convinced at this point bruno Mattei was making fun of america's obsession with vietnam oh, movies oh, yes, like yes, like absolutely. he was, no he doubt was about poking it. Yeah. the bear this is yeah. this is intentionally parody because it is so over the top it is so completely ridiculous and the other thing was was that apparently if you are miles o'keefe you have the ability to offer american citizenship to anybody that you meet i'm gonna take you to the united states with me without any money the boat burned Hunted by Vietnamese and Russians? All in less than 12 hours. I have no plans. Why don't you come to America with us? <laughs> because he starts off by saying, hey, son, I'm going to take you back to America. And then, like, every time he meets somebody that helps him, he's like, I'm going to take you to America. <laughs> he's got citizenship cards in the back so. <laughs> pocket. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey, they're patriots. <laughs> so, so, oh, I, 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 we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey. Thank you for clapping me in. How would you like to come to America with me? <laughs> I'll, I'll make you a citizen. <laughs> um, um, anyway, uh, I, I, I'm, this... This movie was ridiculous. Yes. It was hilarious. And and don't listen to him. You do not fall asleep on Bruno Mattei. Bruno Mattei will lovingly shake you awake and just when your eyes peel back, he will insert. I just I just need you to know that right now. Bruno is a gentle but firm lover. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he proves it with every film he does. Get out. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a bit of a fan at this point. <laughs> I don't know. what Watching these by yourself and nobody else to really poke fun of it kind of really takes the joy out of watching a shitty movie. So... Again, at some point, I gotta have to watch these shitty movies with you, or else I'm gonna stop doing them because they're they're not that enjoyable. I mean, they're they're kind of they're fun to make fun of here on camera, but watching them fucking sucks. See, so, now I, I started off watching this one by myself, and I was laughing so fucking 
hard at this movie that Jordan and Karen both came in and sat and watched the rest of it with me. Exactly. You have an audience with you. I have, I got nothing. I got to recruit the fuckers to watch this bullshit. Look, this is a huge yeah. thumbs up for me. If you like schlock cinema, this is your jam. And I, I'm actually going to see if I can find this one on Blu-ray. It's that awful <laughs> and awesome at the same time. So. It, it is awful. Um, it wasn't enjoyable for me, but I, I could see a lot of people would really enjoy like like you, just <laughs> shitting all over Sting and having a good time with it. Um, so not a recommend for me. But you know, hey, you want some, you lose some. <laughs> Two thumbs and an erection for me. <laughs> you know, but shockingly, I, I, I am strangely curious about. Uh, Shocking Dark Terminator 2. I'm in. <laughs> I, I got to see how bad it is. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's all that's I a, got. That's all I got. So, see you guys next time. <laughs>